do a couple of things to get prompts going. Um, for example, we'll say, you know, bring in, bring in a piece of memorabilia. Uh, it might be a baseball cap. Um, it might be an autographed baseball. And we'll just, we'll just say, you know, tell us the story behind it. And that really gets the ball rolling because what happens is everybody starts feeding off of each other, you know, and the big piece in these types of sessions is the social engagement, the communication, the eye contact. You know, we've been doing this in person and when the pandemic started doing it over Zoom. But at the end of the day, the things that, that, that remain on both of those platforms is we're still able to uh, connect with people and engage them and uh, pre pre present uh, a very friendly forum for people living with dementia and Alzheimer's to share their stories and uh, memories about baseball or anything related to baseball. Sometimes we'll talk about, hey, this was uh, baseball in 1965. Let's talk about how much a car cost back then. What was the hit records? We'll get into some popular, what were the big TV shows back then? And that triggers more memory. So these are really just a series of prompts that we put together over time um, to help kind of choreograph uh, the sessions that are all set up within the kind of the structure of a baseball game itself. So it's very familiar. The other thing about baseball is that it engages a number of the senses. You know, when you go to the ballpark, there's the smell of peanuts, there's the smell of beer. Yeah. The first thing we do when people walk into our sessions, everybody is handed a baseball with 108 magical red stitches. And they're, it's our conduit to our field of dreams, to our memories, our stories, our connections with each other as friends. And um, it's very powerful. There's something, a round object is, is, is very comforting. And those of us who, who hold the baseball, this is my security blanket. I, I'm immediately relaxed when I yeah. hold the baseball in my hands. You know, but we start things out with um, the player introductions. Everybody introduces themselves. We have, who's your, what city are you in? Who's your favorite team? Do you have a favorite player? Um, and then we all sing the national anthem. Music is very important to people in memory care. And then we begin the process of just setting the stage for people to share their stories. Um, and that just starts a free flow conversation about three fourths of the way through we'll sing, take me out to the ball game. When we were meeting in person, we had folded in a physical component. We'd go outside and we would play soft toss with plastic baseballs. And then we actually brought in something else, which I love, which is batting practice. And I was pitching batting practice to people <laughs> not in their 90s who said they hadn't swung a bat in 75 years and they lit up like Christmas trees. Yeah. Um, so as a facilitator, to see the response of these people, how happy they are. You know, the caregivers have shared with us all kinds of tre tremendous insight on the impact these sessions have had on their loved ones.